Hi and welcome back to this video. We're actually setting up a lab with uh, Centrify MFA for Servers, a feature of Centrify Suite 2016. In the previous videos, we've been uh, actually doing uh, some testing and uh, you know making sure that prerequisites are in place. So the last time we spoke, we actually were to the point that we had our um, you know our cloud service register in the zone, right? This is because when you, we added the cloud connector, uh, a service connection point is created uh, in, uh, indicating the instance of the tenant. And uh, the first test I typically ask people to do is just test previous elevation, right? Because when you're testing access, you know, you're dealing with SSH and SSH timeouts, and um, we want to make sure that it works first. So what I'm doing is here, I've created a command. It's called MFA SU to root, and it's just basically SU dash root. So in here, I'm not using a restricted shell, and basically what I'm doing is I'm going to ask the user for their password, and then a, a require multi-factor authentication. This is going to correspond to the um, authentication profile that we set up for privilege elevation right here. So if you look at, um, you know, if you look at what we've set up, we've set up the ability to do mobile authenticator, phone call, text, and an email, right? Uh, for that to work, my user in Active Directory needs to have, you know, at least one of those factors set up in the gal, right? So my user, um, in this case, we're dealing with that Diana. She does have an email, a phone number set up, and a mobile phone number as well. Okay, so this make, uh, you know, the user that I'm testing with should be fine, right? So let's go ahead and, uh, uh, you know, you know, walk in through this. So my Unix, um, this admin role. Notice that MFA SU to root is actually on top, so that's going to be a filtering first. And it has been assigned to my user permanently here. I've, I've actually done the poor practice. I've assigned the role directly to the user at the highest level. That is not a practice that I expect in production to happen, right? So uh, to test it, uh, we're going to pick our, our service, our server that is authorized to do MFA. So we're going to do uh, the worth in this case, and we're going to log in with our AD password. If we wanted to take a look and see exactly what the user can do, we can do a dzdo uh, minus L, uh, and, and you can look at it in sudo format, or we can do uh, a dz info minus minus commands. And notice right here that we have that MFA, you know, uh, sudo root. To test it, um, we're gonna, we're just gonna, just gonna use it. Oh, I actually closed my session. So let's go ahead and do that again. And uh, DZ do su root. And notice that I'm being challenged with my password. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna ch uh, request an SMS. I'm gonna pick two. The phone actually is right here on the screen. So notice that, uh, you know, and again I. I think I have, you know, poor connectivity, but there you it, you have it. So in here you can see that I have the code. If I want to type the code, I can actually go ahead and type it right here, or I can do something actually way cooler. I can just click on on this link, right, and I can approve with a button. So now if I click enter over here in my in my Unix session, notice that uh, I actually elevated to root and I'm root. Right, so, and if I go and do a tail var, oh, that's not the that's the wrong log. That doesn't exist. So notice that uh, you know I was the one who elevated um, and issued the root, and that shows you how you can do it with, uh, in this case, an SMS. Um, notice that I enabled a phone call. I could receive a phone call. Uh, and with an acknowledgement, or I could do the mobile authenticator. In the next video, we're going to see how we can do this for access, okay?